Hi, I'm Cameron from Ultimate Floor Care. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a scratch test on a wooden floor. It's also known as an adhesion test. The reason that we do this is because with wooden floors, sometimes it can contain contaminants and minerals that can stop the adhesion of the wood floor finish on the floors. It can typically be found in sort of tropical timbers that, um, that are hard. Um, when do we do this? The, when, the, the time that we do this is before the job. Um, the contractor will do this prior to doing a job if they feel that there may be an issue if it is a tropical hard timber or might contain contaminants. You can sometimes see it in the floors that there is contaminants by seeing little flakes on it. I will throw up a picture on the website just so you guys can see what you can be looking out for. Uh, that's when the wood is sanded and also when the finish is, is done. Um, we're going to now go on to how we're going to do this. So I know that I said that the contractor should really carry us out. That is right. But also the manufacturer or a representative of the manufacturer will carry out this test if there is a fault in the uh, finish that going on the floor. And they carry this out just to see if there is a problem with the finish or it's with the timber. So we're going to carry one out now just so you can have a peace of mind. The things you're going to need for this, um, obviously a sample board from the the client's floor or even on the floor if you can some tape some really strong adhesive tape um, and a knife uh, okay so what the first thing we have to do which i've already done is apply a lacquer to the floor obviously we're going to sand it to finish it and apply the lacquer to it so this one here has got a uh, powerman palex 325 on it this one here has got the primer and then the two component floor lacquer Palex 98 and then this one has got Palex 98 but it's also may have some contaminants in but we'll see in the video and see if it works. Um, another thing to make clear when you're doing this sort of test is you have to wait for the product to fully cure. So I've done it the proper way that I've applied the primer, allowed that to dry, put a coat of lacquer on, wait for that to be dry, um, screened it back and then applied another one and I've allowed it to cure. So just check with whatever manufacturer you're using, the full cure time. So with this product here, it's gonna, I've allowed seven days for it to be fully cured. Now, another thing I want to just make aware while we've got this here, when you're doing a small scratch test, this only shows you in a small area where the, um, where the product is either adhering or is not adhering. So this doesn't take into consideration the whole floor so we're going to do it in a couple of sections. I would strongly advise if you do ever do this, maybe do it in a couple of sections of the floor or a couple of different planks that the client gives you. So we're going to first start off by scratching the timber. So I will start here. We're going to scratch in with the knife. So we want to go into the finish and then slightly into the wood. The reason we do this is we don't go all the way into the timber. We want to go in just enough to scratch into it and also so we can sand it out. So we're gonna do almost like a crisscross. And then again, I'm gonna put the timber around. I'm gonna do the opposite way here. Be enough, and then I'm just going to do it another side because, like I said, it's best to test and try on other sides of the floor. And we're going to do it on this piece of timber here. So one of these boards has got contaminants in the timber and these happen. So hopefully with this test, it will show up. And I can tell you the difference between whether it does adhere or whether it doesn't adhere to the timber.
Okay, now we've got our scratches. Now we're going to get our tape. Pull that back. Rip the piece off. Put it in the area. We're really going to apply that to the floor. A good piece of kit to keep on to the on your van when doing something like this is something like a seam roller and just to roll it a lot more aggressively on the floor but just for the sake of this video I'm just gonna use my hand and make sure that it's really stuck down Just to recap the purpose of this, so we're going to pull the tape back and if the finish is still on the floor, that has, that has bonded the lacquer or the finish to the wood. If I peel it back and there's going to be finish on here, that means that the adhesion hasn't been made with the wood, with the floor, the finish that you're putting on the floor. So we'll just start with this one here. So we're going to peel it back. Now I'd say do it slowly. And consistently so we have there that has pulled up a piece of finish so that means that this isn't adhered properly to this floor now I will just say that obviously that is just a one small area uh, it may be that it hasn't cured properly in such a small area, but we're just going to try this board here now to see what this one's like. Nice and slowly. You can see there, that's taken a hell of a lot of finish off it. So this is essentially what you don't want when you're doing a scratch. So this shows straight away that there is contaminants in this wood that's going to stop the addition of the finish on the wood. So that right there, that's wood. Not as much as this one. But this one is a hell of a lot worse. So we will try it again on the other end and see how we get on. Okay, so this time we're going to start with this one, see how we get on. Straight away, the finish is coming up. We'll try with this one. That's how you want it to look. This is how you don't want it to look. So I hope that's given you guys a good indication of what you don't want from a scratch kiss because that is bare wood that has taken that up and it's also flecked it in areas I can simply peel that off but right here good consistency nothing peeling there okay now we've done the scratch test on these timbers I have a confession to make one of these timbers we I've contaminated 
which is this one here. So what we've done is I've contaminated this with WD-40 just for the purpose to show you what contaminants in wood can do to floor finishes. So as you can see, that one is fully stripped off and actually started stripping off outside of the squares. So this is definitely not going to adhere. So I would go for something other than a water-based product to to seal this off. Um, we can always help with our ultimate floor care. But if you come onto this one, I know you have got a, still a little bit of coming off, but that's still fine. Obviously over the whole floor, it's going to be absolutely fine. So you will, if it is going to adhere, you should still expect a bit to be some squares that are going to be peeling. So I'm just going to run over a couple more things with this. Um, obviously as a contractor, you're going to be doing it, but the manufacturers are going to need this photographed and recorded. So when you're doing this, I would photograph it with the date and also batch numbers of the products that you're using because that could get you out of a world of trouble with manufacturers saying that their products failed or if there was a product a, a problem with the timber so i hope that's helped you guys we're doing a scratch test you know here at ultimate floor care we're always happy to help so if you've got any questions or if there's anything you want us to do a video on just send us a message thank you